these are not shoes where you have to do any sort of walking. My pinky toe still mad at me from 2021 when I wore these shoes thinking I was cute. Like my pinky toe still mad y'all. It's still mad. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel if you are new here. My name is Sharon Nicole. Welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a video and as you've seen from the title these are all of the, well, I should say all, these are some of the luxury purchases that I regret purchasing. So I'm going to start off this video with a product I don't necessarily say I regret it but it was kind of one of those things where once I got it in retrospect I was like you could have saved your money sis you could have saved your money so we're gonna start this haul off with some Chanel actually this is one of my favorite brands I love Chanel you guys have been on my channel for any length of time I just love Chanel so these are Chanel cotton rounds and it came 100 in a pack. It wasn't really an expensive product, but it is a luxury product. And it's cotton. It's literally cotton rounds. So I use this while I'm doing my makeup. I use it on my skincare at night if I'm removing makeup, eye makeup in particular. Um, and for me, I do feel, I'm not going to hold you, I do feel a little bougie -er when I use these because it's Chanel cotton rounds. So it does give me the mm, that I need. But again, in retrospect, it was kind of like, did you really need to buy a cotton round from Chanel? Probably not. I could have bought some shares of a company or something like that with that money. But um, I don't, again, I don't think I necessarily regret this. I just feel like I could have had better uses of my money. So let me show you the actual cotton rounds. It's actually nothing, it's nothing special. It has the Chanel logo on the cotton. I'm not even sure if you guys are actually able to see the logo on them, but they have a logo on them. So again, it does give me that little boost that I need sometimes if I'm doing my skincare. If I want to have a spot knot at home, I, of course, will know to gravitate towards those because, you know, they're a little more luxurious. I digress. Let's jump into some regrets. So we're going to start this haul off with a little bit of Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. So if you can't tell by the shape of the box, this is my trusty dusty everybody had it it was all over social media um and it was definitely a trendy piece this is my double g pearl belt yeah uh i love the belt i still love the belt do i think it was worth the money probably not but for me, it's symbolic because I actually purchased this for my college graduation. And so <laughs> in my graduation photos, you know, I have my belt on. So for me, it's very, very um, sentimental. So that's probably why I have not sold it. I do sell a lot of my pieces to consignment, fashion file. Um, I was using Real Real. I don't use them anymore. So I do sell to fashion file if I do sell things. But I don't want to sell this because I don't want to get rid of it because it is attached to a core memory in my life. So anyway, I do regret spending the money that I spent on this belt. Um, in retrospect, as I'm doing this video and I'm talking to you guys, I'm thinking of ways that I can wear this. And I think instead of me wearing it on actual clothes, I think this would be really well suited if I wore it on a jacket or a coat. I think that's the best way for me to kind of rebrand this piece because... I am one of those people, I don't care about trends necessarily. If I spent my money on something and I like it, I'm going to wear it. Regardless of what the fashion girls are saying, honey, it's my money. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm probably going to rebrand this and wear it with my coat this winter. But again, I do regret purchasing it only because of the price point. Now, I will tell you this. Uh, when I purchased this, I did pick it up with some shoes and I got it for a discounted rate because at the time, New Jersey had a outlet in Secaucus that's kind of close to New York. We had an outlet store and the outlet store um, allowed us to get, ooh, it's not fitting. It allowed us to get pieces at a discounted rate and I got a really good discount on that but I still think that's a product that I regret purchasing because it's not something I can wear in my collection long term. Now this next piece, let's 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 switch it up a little bit. So these next pieces, I know you guys have seen this. I know, bruh, <laughs> bruh, out of all the things in my wardrobe, these are by far 
the number one item I regret purchasing. I gotta hold it up so you guys can see what they are. These are my YSL shoes. I don't even know the name of these shoes. I'll link them below if you guys want to get the actual names because I really don't even remember, y'all. Um, but these are my YSL sandals. Listen, if you guys don't listen to any piece of advice I ever give you, do not buy these shoes. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. These shoes, they're fabulous. I had tons of pictures of these on my Instagram of me wearing them, especially if I'm shooting something for my website, shimmerandnicole.com. But I promise you, these are not shoes you want to go out clubbing in. These are not shoes you want to go to an important event in. These are not shoes where you have to do any sort of walking. My pinky toe still mad at me from 2021 when I wore these shoes thinking I was cute. Like my pinky toe still mad, y'all. It's still mad. This is how bad these shoes hurt my feet. Again, the, detail, the YSL detailing on the back is fabulous. Chef kiss. That's what makes the shoe, and you would think because the shoe is open toe that it would not hurt your feet, but it's something about the way that they are made. I don't know if it's, we need to like call an engineer or something, but it tears your pinky toe up. They're just, they're so uncomfortable. Like, like I regret this purchase to my core. You know what I'm saying? Now I will say this. I've worn these enough as you can see. I've worn them enough to get my money's worth. I like to do something um, I learned on here. What's her name? I can't think of the influencer. But she said something in her video that just kind of stuck with me. And she basically said cost per wear. So if you calculate cost per wear for me. I've definitely got my money's worth. But I would, I would never. Never purchase why so shoes ever again? Here's the crazy part. I love their boots. And I want them. But I'm traumatized because of these shoes. I'm not going to. I'm not buying anything. Not going to happen. Now this next purchase you guys are going to be like, I know you lying. This is actually a purchase I have been, for the last month, I've been going back and forth about doing consignment for. Out of all the pieces that I currently have in my wardrobe, this it's probably the number one piece that I'm thinking about consigning as of right now. This is my Chanel bag. Which one, you may ask? I know you guys are going to be like, oh my god, are you for real? I am. My Chanel boy bag. I am... I have a... I have a love-hate relationship with this bag. I love the bag because for me, I do, I am very much a prissy girl, but I'm very much a tomboy as well. So <laughs> it's, it's a really hard medium for me. Like I love to dress up. I love the glitter. I love the glam, but I also love sweatpants. I love sweatpants. Like I like to wear sweatpants and heels. You know what I'm saying? I'm very much a, a cross between those two. So for me, the boy bag gives me enough luxury that I can make casual if that makes any sense so this bag is perfect for an afternoon of shopping it's perfect with jeans it's perfect with flats um i'm thinking oversized sweater white t-shirt underneath it jeans some chanel espadrilles maybe a beret that's what I'm, that's the vision i'm getting right now um but i don't dress like that every single day i'm a mom i have my own business that's not necessarily my lifestyle, right? So for me, this is not an everyday bag. Yes, I can kind of throw it on and go, but I just don't, again, cost per wear. I just don't get that much use out of this bag for the price that I pay. This is a consigned piece. I consigned this from Fashion File. Um, you guys will probably hear that a lot in my videos because I do like to purchase a lot of my luxury products secondhand or pre-loved as we like to say because I get a better price point and I get really good quality. So this is a pre-loved item from Fashion File and I'm thinking about selling it back to Fashion File to probably get something else. So I I gotta say my Chanel boy bag is one of my regrets. 
yeah i gotta throw it in there all right you guys we got another pair of shoes <laughs> that i forgot about now just for the reasons that i just explained I'm, I'm so sad i have to do it i have to do it my tom ford heels these are my newest purchase um i got these when did i get these I got them over the summer so I even I haven't had them long I've worn them three times and the first time I wore them I wore them to take pictures on my Instagram orange dress if you guys are following me on Instagram um so you see them you see me wearing them in that picture and where else did I wear these I know I had an appearance and I wore these so Typically, like appearances, I'm standing up a lot. I'm taking a lot of pictures. I'm talking to whoever I'm talking to. And it just requires me to stand for long periods of time. I would say after about hour two, I started to notice that my feet were starting to get a little bit like they weren't swollen. They were like sore, like my actual foot itself hurt. And I'm not sure if it's again, because I'm trying to balance out all of my weight on the skinniest stiletto in American history or what also too I didn't notice that on my left foot um, it was rubbing against my pinky toe and that hurt like hell so I love these time for shoes I got them in gold like metallic gold I love them the color itself does it does it for me but this heel it's not good the statement piece about these shoes is of course the chain or the lock I should say the chain the lock that's on the end of the shoe so it wraps around your ankle but for the price I just like for the price of these shoes I should feel comfort like I shouldn't have to spend all of my money and have my feet hurting that's not a good look <laughs> so um, yeah I have to I have to throw these in here although I love these shoes and I am going to continue to wear them let me throw that out there I am going to wear these shoes everywhere every time I can wear them I'm going to wear them my YSLs you couldn't pay me to wear them no more like you couldn't so that's the difference but um like I said for extended periods of time or anywhere that I know I have to do a lot of walking these would not be the shoe if I'm doing dinner I'm doing brunch with the girls um I'm doing date night these would be a shoe but other than that absolutely not so had to throw these babies in here because yeah they hurt <laughs> and last but certainly not least you guys I know you guys have if you have these shoes you already know these are a very very popular shoe um they're still very popular they still sell and uh yeah <laughs> my Christian Louboutin shoes I regret but not for the reasons you may think these are not the Soakates. These are the Pagals. I believe this probably is pronounced Pagal? Pagal? I think it's Pagals. Pagals. So, this, so these are the Louboutin Pagals. Um, the difference between these and the popular Soakate shoe is that this shoe, put that down, this shoe, if you notice, let's do it that way. Oh, it actually looks good with the shoe, with my black shirt. So it makes it easy for me to explain. So you see how right here it's cut out? Typically, the soap cake shoe would look the same on both sides. So this has a small cutout, which allows for your feet to breathe. It allows for your feet to stretch. And so your feet are not as constricted in the shoe. So this is the reason why I got these versus the ever so popular soap cakes. Again, I still do regret buying these shoes. Now, I have these in black and of course I have them in nude. I have worn these shoes to death. <laughs> so again going back to what we talked about earlier cost per wear I have got all all of my money worth and some with these shoes the issue that I don't like and again it could be because of what I just said I've worn them to death is that I always have to get the heel fixed um I have not I have my black shoes and I've gotten the heel repaired on those um when you purchase so case they come with an additional um heel that you can replace my black ones i've had replaced my nudes i have not as you can see i've worn them to death um 
I am a pageant girl, so I wear these a lot when I do pageant interviews. I wear these a lot if I'm doing anything that is pageant related in terms of like appearances and stuff. This is like a classic shoe. It goes with everything. So I love the shoe for that, but I just feel like this shoe, although it's very sexy, it's very chic, there are so many other options that you can get for a cheaper price point that are more comfortable and I'll probably say that's probably why I regret it. I paid seven, oof, these shoes are old. So I think I paid about $7.90. I think it was $7.90, but that included the tax. I could be wrong. Again, I've had these for over, I've had these over five years. So um, again, I love this shoe. It's a very classy shoe. It's a very practical shoe, but again, for the price point and the uncomfort that I feel when I wear these, no. Think of it this way. You are, I'll put it back to my shirt again. You are balancing all of your weight on this. That's the, that's the best way that I can explain it to you so you guys can know in terms of comfort. All of your weight is being balanced on two sticks. See how skinny that heel is? So although these shoes are cute, long term, you, I wear it for over an hour or two. It's just not practical. So um, if I'm in an office building and I'm sitting down, of course, I'm going to I'm going to give it to the girls. But if this is something where I'm walking, I'm talking, I'm doing a lecture, I'm doing a speech. No, I've done it hurt like hell. I'll never do it again. <laughs> so I definitely regret my Louboutin shoes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this luxury regret haul. Typically we're hauling things that we're in love with, but I wanted to show you some things that I kind of regret buying. In the event you're on the fence about any of these things or you're thinking about purchasing them, you know, you kind of have a little bit of feedback. But I thought the video was fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section. And again, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. It does help out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.